Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to part eight, stage eight. Stage eight. I, I eventually I will get the terminology down that I'm going to use throughout the build, but not today, apparently. Uh, stage eight of building the Ecto One, the Ghostbusters car, the iconic one. It's going to look like that, but bigger, quite a lot bigger. Uh, we're working on the engine this month. Uh, we started last month with this bit. Uh, we've done some more of this bit last time. And now I'm continuing onwards with some more parts. We didn't use these from last time, but we've got extra parts, lots of bags of little tiny things. And because we're dealing with little tiny things, supplied in this issue are some pretty horrible, but worth worth having tweezers, uh, which will be useful for picking up tiny things, a little uh, plastic thing to hold them closed, which I don't think I'll use ever again. But uh, yes, I've got my own tweezers that are, again, pretty horrible, but I'll use theirs because, you know, it's supplied and it's nice to do that. Uh, we've got various little bits that I've got no idea what they are. That looks like a dipstick thing. Didn't we do one last time? Or am I thinking about a completely different car? No, look, there's a dipstick that side. Apparently we've got one this side as well. That's come out. I did do need to glue that in place. I, I thought I might have got away with it, but no, apparently... Hipsticks will need to be secured. Uh, so that's that. Uh, let's start. We're assembling the right cylinder head. I know that because I know everything about engines and it's written there, right in front well, it's written up there for you, right in front of me. Uh, so we shall be using that bit from last time. Is that? It looks a lot like that. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be that. And we're fitting that to here by sliding that into there. Uh, can you get it the wrong way round? You can get it the wrong way round. So it's got to be that way round because that's the way things line up by the looks of it. And looking at the part on the other side, yeah, the curly bit is next to this end, which is that end. So this is going to go the opposite side of that. So yes, that's going to go on there. Uh, and that is being held in place with three AP screws. I've got these in alphabetical order, just to make it nice and easy. So I need AP, I need three of them. Uh, I'm going to get out more than three, I, I can feel it. One, two, three, all at three and a half, but that's gone back in. Uh, so three AP screws to hold this in place because it's all plastic. Uh, all of the parts supplied this time are plastic, I believe. They don't feel metallic, no, I think they're all plastic, this, this issue. Which is fine, because the engine's going to be very substantial. And if it was all metal, then it would just be far too heavy to do anything with, other than put on a very sturdy shelf. Uh, as I mentioned before, the colouring of the plastic is identical, or as near as damn it, to the colouring of the metal. So it does actually match in and look good. You're not going to be able to tell from a distance, or even from very close, which is metal and which is plastic on the finished build. Apart from the fact that most of the engine, most of the time, the engine is going to be locked away under the, the hood, the bonnet, anyway. So you're not going to be able to see any of this. But it's nice to have it, and it is a very nice, big, substantial engine. Uh, it's a V8, I believe. I don't know engines, as I mentioned earlier. Um, but yeah, there we go. So that goes in there. Right, there's that. Which we did, I have to remember doing that last time. So that, with that, that way around, that goes over there. Like that. That doesn't hold in place. I remember that from last time. This then goes on the top and holds everything secure. So let's get that in there. I know I'm doing it all wrong order again because I haven't got the BP screws needed as yet. Hopefully that will stay there while I get four of these out. Yeah, come on, one, two, three, five. Yeah, that's that's more than four. Let's put one back in. Keep that there for next time. Now these are pretty small screws. They go in there just like that. I'll put one in a bit. I'll put another one in a bit. You know the drill. If you've watched any of these builds of me building, well, anything at all with screws involved, 
you'll know that I always advise not tightening up the first one till you've tightened up the last one, basically. Let's get all of them in, make sure everything lines up as it should. I don't know that it's possible for it to not line up, but I don't want to find out. I'd, I'd rather just do it the way that I know works, and then we're good. And it will all come together lovely. Uh, tighten these down. Being that it's plastic into plastic, or metal screw into plastic, don't go silly tight, because it, it doesn't need to. It's not holding anything other than this top piece down. So that goes there like that. Make sure you get the name the right way up. Uh, that's that. Now we need to bring in the part from last time. Uh, that way round. That way round. This is going to go onto the top there. Not like that. I, what? I forgot this completely the wrong way round again. I think I have. I think it's that way round. Yes, it is. And that's going to go on there like that and that's more ap screws uh two more of those yeah this is why we couldn't attach that last time because we need to attach this from the inside first it must be a difficult job creating these part works and obviously before you start you need to have built one and finished it and then you need to break it into number of stages uh, a lot of these seem to be 100 some of them are a bit more now 120 or 141 i think this one is i don't there's different numbers different manufacturers design these things around but once you've decided on the number then you need to break down each stage to make it something to do but not necessarily you know a quick one and then a long one although they're never all exactly the same length are they uh right dm I need two DM screws to bolt all of this together. We need the rest of the engine. They're going into there, but only after this has gone on the front, like that, in there somehow. That needs to be inside that, and inside that bit the other side as well. A bit like that. But that side there is still isn't inside. It's going to take a little bit of manipulation and problem solving. I've got to bend that bit out a little bit to get that in. But then you can't get that in. I just need to bend that out a little bit. Or maybe not. Right. This bit that's just not lining up with there quite right. There we go. I think. It feels like that's getting there. It also feels like that's moved as well, which it has. It's got to be further down that way. There we go. That's more of the right place. And that fits together a bit like that. Cool using those yet so we're putting in the dm screws through these two deep holes m because it's metal going into metal and that is becoming a big chunk of engine it's massive that's bigger than the the one in the dodge charger i think that's just got the big air air bent thing on the top but this is just a big old engine. I suppose it's got to be because it's a big old car that it's powering. Uh, that seems to be over tightening in there, so that's not doing up very well. That one is. So either that's not lined up, which I don't think is possible, or there's something wrong with the screw or the screw hole. So let's take the screw out if I can, if it's undoing. is undoing uh, that screw looks all right but I'm not sure so what I'm going to do is swap it out for the spare put that back in there so I know what what flavor of screw it is and we'll see if this works any better which hole was it it was that one wasn't it feels like it's tightening 
yeah it feels like it's not tightening all the way it's it's just constantly turning it feels a little bit of grip but not a lot but i'm happy that's all right it's holding the screw in place and that's all tight and secure around it and as i say it's not going to be played around with and you can't even move it anyway so i'm going to go with that that's that's fine for me you could add a little bit of glue or uh, lock thread tight in there but i don't think i need to worry uh next up i see i need an ap screw and I need some bits, one that looks like that, and one that looks like that, probably. I don't know what any of these parts are, so I'm just going by the shape of them. I could turn back the page and, and look at the words, but I'm pretty sure it's not that. It can't be that. It's not that. It's smaller than that. It's that. That's the bit that looks just like the one in the picture. And that's going on there like that with an AP screw holding that in place. There's a pin that will lock it in sort of in place. And then the screw obviously does the job completely. It's a massive screw. Am I sure? <coughs> it does say AP. Uh, let me read the words. For a change, I'll read the words. Uh, fix the fuel pump to the fuel rod socket using AP, then push the cap into the round part. Pretty sure this screw is going to go massively through into there. Let's try it and see. Obviously plastic, so I need to make sure it lines up properly. I don't know, that does go in there and it's, it fits fine. That's okay. We'll leave that like that then. Uh, now I've got a bit that looks like something else on the top. Uh, it looks like that. That part goes onto the top. It's fair enough. Again, it's got a heed part there that needs to go somewhere. Oh, it's not that part. It can't be that. Oh, have I got another part that I haven't found? Doesn't look like any of those. It does look like that. Ah, that's why it doesn't go into there. I've, I've misread. There's that. It goes into here. So yeah, there's a key part in there that that needs to go into. Like that. And then that holds onto there with an EP. Uh, FP screw, sorry. Very long one. Let's get that out of there. That on the screwdriver, primed and ready to go. So that's going right. Which way around? That's not locked in there quite yet. There we go. That's locked in there. That's going in there. So one of those tubes is going into there. So lining up next to that bit right that's there like that that's there like that that's going to the top of that just with that screw there so that's going in there all right it's very confusing this bit that's going together just like that and the FP screw is going all the way through that, through that, and into the bit that's at the moment loose, but won't be by the time the screw holds it in place. That should actually just go through. There we go. That goes through most of it. And then tightens into that one loose cap piece on the other side. I can adjust that to get that lined up right. Before I tighten everything down. like that okay so that's that piece uh then we bring in the rest of the engine down to the top of that uh it will only go on one way round because of heat pieces again some lovely little details in there 
of which I know nothing about because it's engines. But I'm sure that they would have got it right. And this is how an actual engine works, or how this actual engine works. Uh, one screw into the top of there to hold that in place. No, not yet. Not yet. That bit goes on the top there first. Where, why, I had it a minute ago. There it is. So I'll put the screw through there. And again, that bit has a piece that keys in place. I won't put the screw in first then, because that's going to fall out anyway. That goes on there like that. Then the screw goes in place. I'm going to have to do some engine research to figure out how to weather it properly. Because obviously you need parts weathered that are going to get weathered. But if I don't know how the engine works makes it much harder to weather correctly. That's that there. That goes on there just like that in the picture. I like that. I don't know what it does, but I like it. Uh, next up, we're building and fixing the ignition coil, uh, which is going to use most of the bits that I've got left over. Uh, that one. Uh, that one. I think. I haven't got many bits left over. I think they're the bits that are in the bags. There we go. Look. Let's have a look. There's definitely things in there that look like they belong together. That bit and that bit, but not that bit. So I'll get them all out now. Put the bag safe because they're useful. Uh, these are all the same as are those. They're like the spark plug ends and things. So this had three parts in there, of which two of them I'm using now. Uh, they are just pushing into place. So that's just a cap that goes over the end there. Uh, you got it at the right end? I have, yes. I don't think it's got any shaping to it, but... No, nope, it just slips on like that. And this one goes in the other end, that way round. Just like that, okay. Oh, and then this goes onto here, uh, onto there somewhere. Oh, with it that way round. We've got a pin and a screw. Get it the right way round on there. And a BP screw to hold that in place. But this being a, a fairly small part of the build, it's quite complex and quite... Um, detail orientated which is nice I mean it's it's nice to have a build part that is substantial well that's located in there and then I can tighten that down right that's that next up insert the spark and distributor cap plugs this is going to be the bit that's going to be fun right yes lots of these and lots of that right we're going to need to put these, eight of these, into the tops of these. I shall use their tweezers. Um, so these are basically all going into there. Like that, but better. Yeah, they're, they're quite a good tight fit. So I've got a foot, four on each side of that. Uh, this goes in um, oh, just over here I believe it's showing it up there but I think that's just up there as in and then push it down further uh, that is heed and that is yeah that's got to go that way around that's a better tight fit I like that that's better that goes on there and these other short the uh, L shaped pieces We'll be going on to this distributor cap, uh, pointing off gradually. Right, I'll get those done behind the scenes because otherwise I'm going to be here absolutely all day. There is one little hose that attaches between this on there. 
could just poke onto the end there. It does just like that. And one of these, uh, one, one in the middle. So I've got to do that after I've done the others, but I'll get all that done behind the scenes and come back and show you when it's done and we get to fit the last couple of parts of this stage. Right, uh, after having done all of that, all of those in the right place, a tube attached onto there, all of these down there as well. I'm assuming we're going to be adding tubes to those at some point soon, but not this time. Uh, we've got a few more bits to finish off with. One little silver piece just attaches onto the side there. Like that, which again has another plug on the side that no doubt something is going to go into. Uh, then we have to do this bit, uh, getting it the right way round. Now there's extra bits and things to worry about. That is going into there. All oh, right, okay, yeah, that lines up like that, uh, and is held in place with a VM screw, which I have already prepared. Uh, there is just one hole there. Oh, I haven't got that lined up right. Is it just the socket there? You've got to get that over there first. A bit like that. Can then go in there like so. Yep, that's in the right place. Tighten that down. Right, uh, then the big bit goes into there as well. Uh, there is a flat side and a flat side to that, which you can just about see on there. You get that all the way through, and then rotate it until it locks in place. That is held in place with an AP screw, which I didn't get sorted out. One, the rest of you can stay in there for now. A P screw in the back of that. There. Do, 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 do. Make sure that's still fully home and located properly. That's that there. Uh, then we've got the one last little plastic bit and a B P screw holding that in place. With the little peg going to the other hole there, uh, inwards. I've just, no, I thought I'd not sink out, but I haven't. So that's going in there, that way round. Let go of it, I can't get my finger out. No, there we go. Squeezes again, possibly. I sort of need to hold that in place while I get the screw through the other side. You know you want to get there. Don't want to put too much pressure on it because of the little spiky prongs and things. So let's try again. I need that that way round. That can locate in there. Like that. While I attach a screw through from the other side, which is easier said than done. Need an extra 17 hands. That's not, not there. Right. That, that's where it's going to go. It's going to go on there like that. And that will be the end of the build. I'll do it off camera because I've had enough. This is getting very tense now. Um, I'll, I'll throw one more time. If I can do it from that angle. That might work better. Get it in there just a little bit. There we go, that started it, and then you can get that located. That pin in there doesn't feel quite right. Squeeze the time. That's where it needs to go. So stay there while I tighten it up without breaking off any other bits, or indeed any other bits from the rest of the build that is now moving around a bit. Lovely view of the back of my hand as I'm doing that final piece. 
So that's on there. That's going to have, again, tubes and pipes coming off of it, going into it and going everywhere. So that is it. It's it's massive, isn't it? It's huge. That's lovely. Right. That was that. That was stage eight. I'll get the words right. Yep. Stage eight. Uh, I shall see you shortly for stage nine. I hope you're enjoying the build. Do let me know in the comments if you are, or even if you aren't. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.